Well, they say that your success is directly proportional to the number of lives you touch for the better. Thank you, Fetanula, for that report. Now, moving on to another feature story, 3D printing creates, creates parts by building up objects one layer at a time. This method offers many advantages of a traditional manufacturing process, through, though it is unlikely to replace many traditional manufacturing methods, yet there are many applications where a 3D printer is able to deliver a design very quickly with high accuracy from a functional material. Samsung Jura visited AB3D, a company dealing with the technology and filed the following report. Three-dimensional printing, popularly known as 3D printing, is not a new concept in the country, but soon we'll be taking Kenya by storm and we will be learning the major strides it has made and the advantages compared to the traditional manufacturing techniques. The term 3D printing covers a variety of processes in which a material is joined or solidified under computer control to create a three-dimensional object with the material being added together such as liquid molecules or powder grains being fused together, typically layer by layer. One of the key advantages of 3D printing is the ability to produce very complex shapes or geometries and a prerequisite for producing any 3D printed part is a digital 3D model. This technology has revolutionized plastic surgery, more so the reconstruction of broken or deformed body parts such as bones. This is as well as the printing of prosthetic limbs which are affordable compared to the ones conventionally made. To understand more about the technology, I visited Africa Born 3D Printing Company, a startup investing in 3D printing technology in a bid to help companies, hospitals, schools and households cut production costs and significantly improve efficiency. There is one funding we got from medical, we are actually working with medical products, we are 3D printing products for the medical world, such as a microscope. So we have a client who's asked us to come up with or to print for them microscopes, uh, which are low cost and also something that we could provide the community with. Aside from being a printing company, AB3D manufactures 3D printers using readily available parts and electronic waste, hence their low cost. Th uh, our 3D printers are locally made with 3D printer parts. The other electronics, we get them from e-waste, from uh, photocopiers. The motors are from photocopiers that, that have failed. The cables, we collect them at a place called e-waste. It's in Kenya. Bearings we buy, but now the big part of the wool printer, we assemble everything now from here. The printers go for a basic price of 40,000 Kenya shillings. But how exactly does a 3D printer work? A 3D printer works on three axes. That is the X, the Y, and the Z. From, if you want to make a 3D model like this, you have first to conceptualize what you want to make. Then use your computer, a software that can design. That's like uh, SOLIDWORKS, AutoCAD, that can design. Then after there, you save the file as, a, as, as an STL file, STL. Then now from there, you slice it to a mode that the printer can print. It prints using the, a G-code. So when you slice using Repetier, it slices the STL file to a G-code where the printer now can understand, under, understand, yeah. So we said, uh, you design, then save, then print. At AB3D, they use a software called SOLIDWORKS to come up with the computer-aided design files. The company is working with NGOs to help in capacity building so as to improve the use of 3D printing among marginalized communities. The biggest project I could say is a Kakuma project, whereby we the, we had uh, the NGO that uh, wanted us to train the refugees, and from that they bought three printers, and also we did uh, one whole week 
training program for them, whereby they were able to understand the whole 3D printing technology and also build or print something meaningful from that. The clientele at AB3D includes students and engineers who bring prototypes for projects they are working on to be printed. Sometimes other people come in just to get gifts such as custom toys or artwork for their loved ones. AB3D was started in 2015 by one Mr. Roy Ombati, whose main aim was to print shoes for people who are living in areas infested with jiggers. Compared to 3D printing, traditional manufacturing technique is more costly, risky and not easily accessible, does not allow for customization and is not as sustainable. In the 90s, 3D printing techniques were considered suitable only for the production of functional or aesthetical prototypes, and the more appropriate term was rapid prototyping. As of 2019, the precision, repeatability and material range have increased to the point that some 3D printing processes are considered viable as an industrial production technology. The advent of 3D technology in the country has been so beneficial in areas such as the health sector, where we get to see a company such as AB3D come up with a locally made microscope that is used in local health facilities and at the same time give hope to those who have lost their body parts such as arms by coming up with prosthetic arms like the one I'm holding. Samson Jura, KUTV, Nairobi.